Hello, welcome to Teresa's Kitchen and today I'm cooking my homemade chili. And I'm going to tell you the ingredients that I put in it. Okay, first I'm doing Rotel tomatoes. And I'm doing uh, the tomato sauce. I am using three cans of the tomato sauce. And then I'm going to put some petite diced tomatoes. And um, I'm going to put my seasonings in it. And I'm going to use my black pepper corn. And I'm going to use my garlic powder. I'm going to use my onion powder. And I'm going to use my uh, chili powder. And I always put a little parsley in it to make it very cute. And I'm going to put just a sprig of soy sauce. And then I'm going to put a little brown sugar, but I don't have it sitting right here right now. And, and the last but least, I'm going to use my seasonings blend, which is onion, bell pepper, and uh, celery already cut up. It cuts down the time, and I love that product. And once I get all that in, I put it on the fry, brown my ground beef, drain it. And once I get all my seasonings in and everything, that it concludes, concludes everything that I'm using. So, we'll show you the finished product. So, see you later. Okay, I'm back now and I'm going to show you some of the ingredients that I'm going to put in before I start browning. I'm going to put in some of my seasoning blends. I like to pour a lot of that in there because it gives it a good flavor. And I'm going to put some of uh, my peppercorn in. I like this because it gives the good color and it makes it look very appealing. Uh, yeah, I have to put in a lot of this. Okay. And I'm going to put in some. I put in a little chili powder before, then I do it after too, so we'll burn on it. Okay. And then I'm going to put in a little onion powder. You know, you can put in as much onion powder as you want because you don't have any salt in it. And that's one good thing. Then, I'm going to add a little garlic powder and the same for the garlic powder also. Put in much of that, no salt. Then I'm going to put in a little portion. I like it because it makes it look pretty. Okay, so that concludes my ingredients until the brownie. So that's it. I'm back. I'm going to add my remaining ingredients. I'm going to add my three cans of tomato sauce. And I'm going to add my petite diced tomatoes. And I always add a can of Rotel tomatoes. And I'm going to add my can of pinto beans. I like beans, but I don't put a lot of my shoes in one can. That's it. And I give that a stir, and I'll put some water in it if I need to. Just to taste your love. 
think they look so good with all them ingredients in there. Oh, you just wait till it gets to done. Oh, that looks good. I'm gonna sign on my mama licking her lips right now. Okay, and once I let this simmer for about an hour, hour and a half, I will show you the finished product. Thank you.